back, yogis. Today's practice has been all about yoga and longevity. And joining me now is Dr. Murali Duraswamy, Professor of Psychiatry and Medicine at Duke University. Welcome to the show, Doctor. Thank you. Great pleasure to be here. Awesome. It seems like uh, a lot of my teachers have, uh, in my lineage are well into their 90s, and it seems like there's a correlation between yoga and longevity. How is this supported in your research or evident in your research? Well, the science is uh, pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, there are three types of longevity that we define as scientists. One is called lifespan, which is the absolute number of years that mm -hmm. one lives. The second is called health span, which is how fast your tissues and your cells are aging, your biological clocks, if you will. Mm -hmm. And the third is emotional aging, mm -hmm. how stress is taking a toll on your mind, on your relationships. Uh, so the evidence as far as yoga benefiting longevity for emotional aging mm -hmm. and tissue aging is incredibly strong. Okay. I think there is emerging evidence to suggest that yoga also increases the lifespan as a result of its effects on the first two, mm -hmm. uh, but the evidence is not yet conclusive. One study has shown that people with high blood pressure who practiced yoga compared to people with high blood pressure who did not practice yoga when followed over 20 years, the ones who practiced yoga, there was a 25% increase in their lifespan. So that is the only study that I know of that has definitively tested it, but the evidence is looking very good. Yeah, that's very, very marked evidence. Um, as far as the meditative aspect, the quality of meditation to center the mind and really cut down on the whirling of the thoughts, right. how does that affect our brains and the aging brain? So that's the million dollar question and my lab is researching that. Uh, I think meditation has probably more than 200 beneficial effects on the brain and on the nervous wow. system. We're only scraping sort of the surface, if you will. Uh -huh. So um, at a very global level, it's very clear that meditation activates our relaxation response by activating the parasympathetic system. Okay. So that's the vagus nerve that runs from the base of your skull into all of your different tissues. Mm -hmm. The word vagus stands for a vagabond. It's mm -hmm. something that travels all over your body. It has very profound effects. It controls your heart rate, it controls your digestive tract. That's how the mind influences the body. Uh -huh. At a cellular level, I think it improves concentration. It reduces the effects of the stress hormone. The stress hormone has a destructive effect on nerve cells. We know that high stress causes high cortisol levels. High cortisol level damages nerve cells. In fact, one of the theories underlying brain aging is as a result of lifelong stress. And yoga has been shown to reduce that both at a neural global level and at a cellular level in the brain.